Hey guys, Sam from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm here with John from Creek Fishing Adventures. If you've been watching the channel, I've been catching a lot of trout at this one spot, and so I really wanted to have John come down here and catch some trout. There's basically just a ton of trout loaded in this deep hole. There's some big ones in here, and maybe we'll get one of those today, but if not, I think we'll definitely catch a lot either way, so let's get fishing. There we go. All right, <laughs> took a little longer than normal, but <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> whole three minutes or something, maybe like five, but yeah. All right, we got one already. Um, it's just a little guy. So yeah, they're still down here. They've typically been just loaded in this hole, as y'all have probably seen in most of my videos, but there we go, first trout. <laughs> All right, y'all, this one was a little bit harder to get off the hook. Usually they're totally fine, but Let's see, all right, he looks good. All right, was that your first cast with a heavy jig head? Yeah, so I, I went to the uh, 1 30 seconds out. First cast with it, got down a little lower, sunk in there. There we go. Oh, next cast. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, at first it looked like they weren't gonna bite or something. Oh, my line might've broke. My line broke. I don't know, yeah, it broke at the knot, like right below the knot, oh well. There's one. Man, he was nipping at it like multiple times. I thought I wasn't gonna get him, but I got him. This is a little guy, I think. Yeah, this is pretty small. Yeah, this is, oh my gosh. Oh my, <laughs> there we go. This might be one of the smallest ones I've ever caught here. It's definitely one of the smallest. All right, y'all, well, I think this is probably the smallest one I've caught here, but I'll still take it. Still a pretty little fish there. Yeah, I, I went like super far down one day but we didn't catch anything farther. Oh, there we go. Oh, got him. Right as I was talking, sometimes right as I start talking, I get one. This one definitely feels bigger than the last one, but it's just like an average size. I can see them fighting. It's really sunny today, so you can really see a lot farther down in this clear water, which makes it pretty cool. I'm here, fish. There we go. Yeah, he's. this is... Probably an average size. Oh no. Oh, dang it. Well, I tried to do an underwater release of that one, but he just got away. Oh, we got something. For a second it seemed big, but I don't think it is. I almost thought I was stuck on that log down there, because, ooh, it's, oh yeah, it's a little better. It's not bad. All right, he's got some dark fins on him. Kind of a darker fish. Oh jeez. Come here, buddy. Yeah, this is a dark one. Wow. Man, that is really weird looking. All right, y'all, well, this is definitely the best one of the day. He's pretty big. I mean, you know, not too big, but probably close to 15 inches there. And we'll give him an underwater release there, so let's watch him swim out on the net. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Out, yeah. yeah. There we go. Got one. Way out there. Yeah, this one was pretty far. I can't tell. Like, they're not really pulling my drag, so I don't know if it's too tight or what. Just, just loosen it a little. All right. There we go. Another smaller-ish one. They seem slightly smaller today. I mean, that last one I caught was pretty good. All right, the hook came out of him pretty easy. It's a pretty little one. Let him go. Wow, yeah, he was ready to go. Yeah. That one, that was a weird bite. I just kind of leaned into it. All right, yeah, another average size. Oh, this one's 
Some of them, some of them have more of a pink line. This one definitely is more of a oh, yeah. pink line on them. Yeah, that's definitely the coolest looking one I've caught. Oh yeah, you can tell he's like stocked because his fin is all. Oh, is that what they do? They clip their yeah. fins. Yeah, or I don't know if they clip them, but sometimes I think they rub along the uh, concrete tanks. So. Oh okay, I've heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes they're back fins too. But this guy, it's not too bad. But anyway, we'll release him there. I mean, yeah, some people that's like, like oh, oh yeah. that feels, uh, it felt bigger, but I don't know if it is. Oh, no, he's not too big. He might be a little. Oh, yeah. All right. Double. First double. All right, I got to land him. I got to land this. <laughs> oh, gosh. There we go. First double. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I, I can't remember. This is this is seven or eight. Forgot forgot the number, but it's another average size one there. Oh, there he goes. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna switch it up. I caught quite a few fish on that Helgramite lure, but now I've got this little Euro tackle uh, lure on. It's like an inch and a half. It's really small. Might be a little bit small for this jig head, but I'm just gonna try it out and see if I can get something on it. We've got one there we go all right i only took a few casts with this little uh euro tackle thing and it's a decent one eh, well it's about average size they've all been pretty similar today haven't been able to get that bigger one. Oh, this one's pink nice little pink line on them yeah so john's been switching up a bunch of different lures and it seems like every time he switches to a different lure he gets a fish pretty fast and uh, that was definitely the case here so there he is looks like he might have line coming out of him wow that's crazy y'all this trout has a line coming out of him and i can see a pink trout worm down his uh, throat all right y'all so unfortunately this trout did have some line coming out of him and a lure inside of him like a little plastic trout worm i cut the line really short because the hook like he was just totally swallowed the hook but I mean, he's still doing okay. Like he's swimming off fine. All right, y'all. Well, John and I are wrapping up our day of fishing here. Uh, definitely it was not bad. We, we stayed out here for maybe just like a couple hours, caught quite a few fish. We each caught about eight to 10 trout probably. So definitely a fun time. I'm glad I got to put John on some fish. If for some reason you have never heard of John's channel, you need to go check it out, Creek Fishing Adventures. I'm sure most of y'all have, but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching.